All right, we already unboxed this. We're gonna take another little look at this right now. We already unboxed this. Also, I built the zoom on YouTube. Damn, very, very impressed by this. Archetype, thank you again, bro. Um, love this color. I believe, Archetype, just to be clear, I think this is Heritage, right? This is Heritage with raw brass. Okay, perfect. I think the brass works really nice with this. I don't think I would personally pick another color. This looks great. I love this design of the uh, weight on the bottom. Love it. This is a, actually a really fun color combo as well. This is the Ultum top with the aluminum and then the brass. Has some really interesting pieces in this board. I'm not too sure if you guys can see it. Well, you guys can, but these are where those gaskets are. Well, here, here, and here. And we'll see. The finish looks pretty good on this, but Archetype said the finish will be even better on the Ultem. Um, I know this is, it's hard to even see. I don't think you guys will even see this on stream, but it does have some, um, I guess not inconsistencies, but it'll probably apparently be even better. Honestly, I think that's crazy. The board is really pretty. We'll do a full workup of it. it. It's a really pretty board. Nice little seam over here. So then you also have what's really cool. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see this nicely. Do you see how this has like a little taper? It raises up. So it has like a raised bezel and then tapers down into the keyboard. That's a nice little finish, finished aspect as well of this. Kind of gives it a little bit more of like a, a frame over here. Really, really nice. Uh, GMK Lux, that's what I was thinking too. This is just a raw finish. GB will have a, a finer sandblasting. Okay. He, he literally explained that to me and I'm just like, I was looking at it before stream and I'm like, this already looks pretty good to me. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Uh, GMK Lux today? I think so though. Custom screws, we are just testing it. Yes, they start type, perfect. My eyes have not, I, need to, I think I need to go for another checkup soon. 2015 vision? I don't know. A lot of people tell me I should try doing the, what's it called? The LASIK eye surgery? I, I don't know, man. I, I, I literally am like too nervous for that. I, I think that's something I, th I think I would panic during that whole operation. Like I, I honestly think anxiety would get the best of me during that. So I, I don't know if that's something that I can even consider. LASIK stream, oh, man, I would. I wouldn't even want to stream it to you guys. I think I think I would just be a baby the entire time. Just get lasers blasting your eyes. Yeah, easy, dude. Just get lasers done. Easy peasy. I can definitely see myself getting used to this particular color. Look at the inside here, though, guys. I think this is where the cool part is. See these? Um, is this considered teal? These light green gaskets. Check these out, guys. Check this out. So these are the gaskets that are gonna be put inside. And I absolutely, did I just drop one? I think I just totally dropped one. I think it fell down on the other side of my desk. Okay, I'll go get it later. Um, it fell down off the opposite side. Look at these. Look at these, dude. Did it drop? I think it did. Yeah. Gosh, I have to go find it and fish it up from behind. So these are kind of like what we saw on the KBD fans boards, these big gaskets, but these are a lot like a lot wider. There is different durometers gonna be, uh, I believe included with this as well. So what's nice too is they even say like bottom and top, so you can even see where they're, I don't know if you guys can even see that on the camera, but they'll say bottom and top. Uh, very, very cool though, I like this a lot. This is a, definitely a cool idea. A note about gaskets, these are made in-house, but GB will produce via injection molding in factory. That sounds good. We also have an FR4 plate, which we're not gonna use today, and I believe, I think it's just another PCB. Or this is the PCB, rather. This is the PCB. We have our PCB. Yeah, chop these things off. It does have some flesh cuts. I, I've heard sound tests of the board already. It doesn't seem like this thins out the alphas, but they are quite large. But we'll see how this all sounds. And we have our daughter board. No, just grabbing the rest of the stuff here. <sighs> carbon fiber is just cool. What does carbon fiber even mean? Uh, carbon fiber is a different material. It's like a really, I believe like high durability, very lightweight material. What is the keyboard? This is called the Minerva. And we have these which go on the back. Oh, you know what? 
Yeah, I think GMK Lux would look really cool with this. With these little accent badges here on the, the back. Oh, that's kind of cool, okay. And then we have a different durometer of gasket. I'm not too sure what durometers these compared to these are, uh, or what kind of anything these are, but I'll ask Archetype right now. Also, look at this daughter board. So this is, was this designed by Wolf? Love this, by the way. I really, really like how this daughter board is still a JST connector, so it's still nice like that, but it has this like flat cable over here instead of it having like a circled cable uh, and then kind of creating this like, impo like impossible to have channel sometimes that, so this is kind of nice, this is cool. I like this a lot. All right, these are in, we'll test them right now. We'll put the plate on, nice forged carbon fiber. Ooh, that's already looking pretty interesting. Get our switches. Stats on the switches are 62 gram springs, it looks like. Mixed PC top, nylon bottom, UPM, uh, UPE stem. Won't UV cause yellowing in certain plastics? That is something that I wouldn't know too much about, but maybe Archetype can maybe fill some in, uh, fill us in on that. It does, it does sound vaguely familiar. Are we doing GMK Lux today? I think we are, right? That would look sweet on this. Lux is lit for this? Yeah, I think so. Have you ever tried lavender keyboard with beige keycaps? I literally tried that the other day. It looks so good. Your fan and the honey switches are fantastic. Everything today is a fantastic match. I'm just letting you guys know like, everything's matching today. I don't, I don't know why, I didn't plan it like that. <laughs> Full throttle and the ax axle, axle toe. How do you even pronounce that word again? The Omnitype merch? Bro, Garrett sent me this and I, I don't know why I just fell in love with the shirt. Legitimately fell in love. This is such an interesting, interesting little JST connector. How easy is this to put in? Let's see. I will now find out. Does it get pushed in? How does this work? Oh, wow. This just, wait, this is so easy to push in. So this little JST connector doesn't slide in, it just gets like pushed in. Wait, that's so cool. It's pushed, yeah, it's pushed in. Cool. All right, we have to put our gaskets on. You said to put the heavier ones on, oh, this goes this way. The top, you said, or was it the bottom? The way, that way if you yank it, you won't scrape your cable. That's so smart. Heavier, so teal is the heavier one, right? Or did you say gray was? Super easy to build too, which is awesome. Applaud, you guys know I love that. Love super easy to build keyboards. Cool gasket config here. This is fun. Oh, knocked one off by accident. Cool. That is super neat. I'm gonna put all the gaskets in this one little bag so I don't lose them. Putting the top case on. Really? Oh, if I could offer you one suggestion archetype. Is this just a little bit too? Okay, you know what actually, this kind of works. You can do this with the top case. You can lift the top case up just a little bit and slide. Oh, and then they got this side. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do just to make this easier for myself? This is one thing I still don't love about some of these boards, but I think there's a little bit of interference happening with the, the switch top. Yeah, this is something that happens very, very often. So we're just gonna clip the switches a little bit here because I don't want to deal with this uh, too much today. Thoughts on Owl Labs Tungsten? They're good, I have no problems with them. So if we can get this one here to slip on, we should be fine. Yes, because then we can just slide that one there in. Perfect. And now we'll just have to push everything in together like this, like so. You should be able to pass the top case through without clipping the switch. I think it was just getting caught on this one, so maybe if I fiddled around with it, we can slide it in but it wasn't as bad. You know why it's not as bad? The bottom switches don't interfere with any, or the bottom 
screw in parts don't interfere with any switches. So you can technically slide it in from the top. So not as bad, I will say that. Definitely not as bad. That is uh, frustrating sometimes with some of those. Okay, let's get the nice little screws here. Oh, that's the wrong bit, we have this guy here. Hi Club, how you doing? And let's screw all of this in. What a pretty looking keyboard this is, guys. This looks pretty. All right, let's start putting GMK Lux on this. These don't serve any other function, guys. They're just accent badges. Should I do like white? Black will do last, I guess. That's cute. I think this is a nice little combination. House config is orange, yellow, black, white, white. Can I just do this config? I think this is kind of cool. Should I do black in the middle though? I don't know. What do you guys think? Halloween candy, kinda. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this thing is moving. Do we do accent keycap for this though? I'm not sure if we want to do accent keycap for this. Okay, I'm gonna wait till the last part for that. I don't know if I wanna do accents. Okay. Look at this. This is looking pretty fresh right now. I like this. This looks great. These, this, this is a cool idea of using these as like badges. Will you sell extra colors of these? Ooh. Archetype, this is quite nice. So some changes happening for the final rendition from what I understand is a much better finish on the Utem top. Uh, I can, now that we have the board assembled, see there is some fogging and even a line over here. So that is all apparently gonna be uh, sandblasted. Although it actually doesn't look terrible as it is right now. I would still be pretty happy with this. I see it from my fingerprints everywhere, but um, this will have a better, uh, what's it called, finish to it. Magnetic screws, which I think are gonna be important. And I think that's really the major things. So far, I think some really nice things. I like the inclusion of the um, daughter board in this. That, the, the whole drop-in instead of plug-in, very, very nice. I know it's super small, but I, I think that's super important. Um, the gasking system is really fun on this keyboard too. Definitely kind of unique. Definitely a cool keyboard. There's no foam in this for anyone wondering. I don't know how much um, the honey switches are. Let's see, let's see what this is gonna sound like though. Let's plug it in, first of all. <clears throat> let's see what this will sound like, guys. So we're using the forged carbon fiber on this guy here with the honey switches. I can already tell you guys, I already like the sound of this. We're not using feet, too. All right, let's see what we use. The space bar is really nice. The space bar has a really nice like, it's unique, a little bit more unique. I don't think, I don't think foam would be even need it in this in the, in the slightest. It's solid alphas too, it's good contrast. Hmm. Ooh, I like the backspace, that's really nice. Dude, this is really nice. This is a very like, how did I word this? It feels like a very full sound. You know what I mean? Do you wanna do with feet? Should we do with feet now? It feels like a very nice full sound without the need for anything else like modding wise, which is ideal in a keyboard. The space bar is fantastic. I like that a lot. Really cool ideas with this, uh, this keyboard here. We'll do the, we'll do the um, feet now. 
Where should I put them? I'm assuming like maybe here. Sounds focused? Yeah, a little bit. It sounds very nice and full. The space the space bar is I think giving it a lot of character as well. It feels amazing by the way. This feels really really good to type on. Very very soft. For anyone who wants a softer experience, it's weird. I kind of like it without the feet. Is there a difference or am I just imagining things? No, this sounds really good still. You know, maybe I do like it like more like this. Is there a difference, guys? I don't know if there's a difference. Maybe I'm just going crazy. It still sounds super full. Like, I'm super, super happy with this. I don't think there is actually. I really, really like this placebo. I think it's definitely placebo. Dude, that sounds really good. The only thing I would personally change about this board, not even the board itself, I would probably just put 55 gram springs. That, that's literally it. I would change the springs to 55 gram. That would be my only thing I probably would do with this board. Here's my thoughts though. Obviously the, the finish is gonna get better. That's what archetype saying and he's gonna I think he said he's gonna post photos of the finish or I, th I think I don't know, did you say you're gonna post photos of the finish or something uh, the new finish and there's no real other glaring issues with this board at all and I think the feet he said were changing there's gonna be slotted feet from what I understand um, I think this is a really good buy if you're looking for this type of layout with the macro column six with 60 plus macro and you want something that sounds good without the need of any modding, which is not a rare thing per se, but it is quite nice. But this is insanely soft to type on. Pretty unique in a lot of ways too. Update it finish, oh there you go. Smoother and less chalky, okay, that's exactly what you want. So I, I don't know, I think if you were aiming for a board, oops, if you were aiming for a board that had just about like everything in it, this might be a really, really fun kit to pick up. They do nothing. They're just accent badges. Which plate do you prefer, carbon fiber or polycarbonate? I, if I were to pick, it'd be carbon fiber. And honestly, even between FR4 and carbon fiber, I don't know if there would be a difference. However, if I do change this out and go with the FR4, I'm gonna be spring swapping all these switches to a 55 gram. Just because I personally like this a bit more with 55 gram springs. I love accents, but on this one here, no accents is definitely cleaner. Yeah, I'm gonna take them off again. F4 really shines with this board. You think more so than carbon fiber? Because I have always felt they're very, very similar in terms of sound signature. You can see the gaskets peeking through, which is kind of cool. I've never minded that. Heritage Whisper and Storm are definitely the best. Yeah, a lot of cool colors. That's the other thing too, right? A lot of fun colors with this keyboard. But uh, take care, everybody. Love you guys and tune in, and tune in next time.